Political Custard subscribers have voted Mick Lynch the person of the year. And what better way to celebrate than to give you our top five Mick Lynch moments as he cuts the crap, refuses to play the media game and pops the bubble of Tory pomposity and presenter laziness. Number five saw Kay Burley frothing at the mouth or maybe dribbling for a hypothetical picket line incident to occur. Some of your members will still stay on the picket lines. What will they do if agency workers try to cross those picket lines? Well, we will picket them. What do you think we'll do? We run a picket line and we'll ask them not to go to work. Do you not know how a picket what line works? What do they do anyway? Uh, what, will the, what will picketing involve? Well, you can see what picketing involves. I can't believe this line of questioning. Number four. Watch how uneasy, greasy Tory MP Robert Jenrick looks as Mick Lynch puts him in his place. You've lost 20% of the passengers on the railway since COVID. I haven't lost them. That's not COVID the fault did. of you and but the COVID rail left. But we need to we encourage those people. We operated trains all through that to, period. We need to encourage those people back. The worst way in which you can do that is by alienating your customers, by going on strike and making their lives much more difficult. The worst way you could do it is insist that the fares go up by RPI, ripping off the commuters, but you won't give the, the workers RPI. The fares go up by RPI every year, the retail price index. That's the government regulations. Last year, profits were made by the train operators. £500 million out of that subsidy you gave went to those companies. First Group and Go Ahead, who we're negotiating with, are both subject to takeovers from private, private equity companies, they're going to be worth billions because they know that you're going to keep siphoning money from the public purse into private but, sector operators, well, I just think, as you're but, doing but, in but health, what's education... What's actually happened in the care. last two years is, in effect, a large sway. Number three. Renter god Piers Morgan tried to pick a hole in Mick's social media use of the hood as his Facebook profile picture, only for Mick to change it to an image of Piers and convicted sex Why trafficker Jelaine Maxwell. It's a picture, yeah, of, it's can you a see picture the of the hood from Thunderbirds. Can you see the likeness? Well, I'm just wondering where the comparison goes because he was obviously <laughs> an evil criminal terrorist mastermind. Is that the level you're pitching this at, Piers? That is a joke amongst me and my friends, and you can see the likeness if you like. So He's you're not denying that you are eyebrows. comparing yourself to the hood? I'm not comparing myself to anyone. I'm me. It's the most evil puppet made out of vinyl in the world. Is that the level your journalism's at these days? Oh, it makes <sighs> me laugh honestly, that you have the hood as your profile pic, because that's a man who wreaked havoc on the world. Well, it makes me laugh that your level of journalism has descended so far that you can't think of any other question rather than a, a I thing didn't about put, the I didn't put that picture on your profile page. Number two. Richard Madeley gives all the professionalism of Alan Partridge as he asks Mick if he is a Marxist. Mr Lynch, uh, who's the man leading the strike today for the RMT, is waiting for us at Euston Station. Mr Lynch, good morning to you. It's going to be a busy day for you today. Um, can we just get one thing nailed to the wall before yeah. we get going here? Uh, you've been accused severally in the last few weeks of being a Marxist. It happened again last night. Uh, a backbench Tory MP said you were a Marxist with no interest in anything other than trying to tear down the government. Now, are you or are you not a Marxist? Because if you are a Marxist, then you're into revolution and into bringing down capitalism. So, are you or aren't you? <laughs> Richard, you do come up with the most remarkable twaddle sometimes, I've got I to say. Say, well, 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 uh, I didn't say you were a Marxist. With, with I'm that saying that nonsense. you are being accused of being a Marxist, and that's yeah, not twaddle. That's, that's called reporting. No, I'm not... <laughs> I'm, no, I'm, a, I'm not a Marxist. I'm an elected official of the RMT. I'm a working-class bloke leading a, a trade union dispute about jobs pay and conditions of service. So it's got nothing to do with Marxism. It's all about this dispute. It's an industrial dispute, yes. and that's what it's all about. Absolutely. I'm, I, I emphasise I am not talking twaddle and accusing you of being a Marxist. I'm merely quoting people who are, including many of the newspapers. Well, that's what it sounds so, like to me. Well, well, I'm sorry if it did, but I don't think it was. Um, but anyway, to be absolutely clear, you are not a Marxist. Fine. Number one. And finally, nothing gives us more pleasure as this clip from Newsnight as Mick brandishes Tory MP and smarmy reptile Chris Philp, a liar, over and over and over again. Tories. What we said was 
that they're not at the table while I'm negotiating with the employers. You've also lied that we left negotiations on Saturday and went to a rally. There were no negotiations scheduled for Saturday. You are a liar. Right, well, let's a video, just hang on. a video of him walking out this afternoon giving a press conference. It's on videotape. And then we went back to the talks. Yeah, You're having, lying. Having, having said the strike's going to go ahead. You are a liar.